13-10, 14-25 to go. Moody finding KJ. Back to Moody. Moody, he'll pull the trigger. Bullseye! Right back at you, son. Right back at you. As Eagles looking to add to this 10-point lead. Groves knifing through. Finds Parks. Parks will step into a three. Bullseye! 6-10 to go. 36-23. Largest lead of the first half for the Maroon and Gray. Here's Adams. He'll drive and try to dish it off to his teammate up the floor on the turnover. Here's Houston. Houston! He'll bring down the house and say, strike that, Rattlers! 43-32, 2 11 to go. Chapman got two quick fouls, four minutes in. Ten on the shot clock. There's a live pass to Parks. Ball knocked away out of his hands, but KJ, Johnny on the spot, got the loose change and put it up and in. 47-36 with seven seconds to go. Here's Lewis in transition on the left wing. No good on the three. And Houston gets the rebound on the far side of the floor. And Jeremy Ingram with his 15 points tonight. Now 18th all-time in North Carolina Central. As Pooby, he'll drive right of the lane. Off the glass and good. Pooby with eight points here tonight. And the Eagles are up by 23. 63-40, 12.07 to go. Groves remaining the point. They'll go around a screen set by Parks. Top of the key to Jawara. Jawara, there's a backdoor cut to Houston. Houston on the way up was hacked. No foul call there. Houston knocks the ball away from Bradshaw. Parks! Hello! He reaches back and says, take that! Again, not helping the colorblind folks, though. Here is a pass left side to Nelson. He can't handle the pass as Jeremy Ingram's back in. Grows, he'll push it up the floor. They've got the number. Left side, Holmes in transition. Three! Count it! 75-41! And... Here's Moody around the screen. Top of the key to Anyora. His top of the key three. Bullseye. And I tell you what, if, that's good to see him do that, Joe. Guarded by Holmes. Holmes, good job there to cut him off. Long three by Adams. That one's short off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Eaton. And Eaton, he'll push it up the floor. Here's Moody. One minute to go in this game. Moody in the corner to Galea. Three on the way. Good! And the foul! Oh! There's a pile up. In turn two, as the Eagles lead it 91-45. Anton and Galea with the three. And that'll do it. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And I like mine with a side of Rattler as the Eagles win it tonight by the final score of 92-49, to avenging their lone regular season conference loss to Florida A&M back in January. They win it tonight in convincing fashion and make it 10 in a row to move to 9-1 in MEAC play. We'll hear from head coach Lavelle Moten amongst others. Obviously a, a, a great effort in the second half on the defensive end of the floor. First half, of course, I, I was, you know, displeased because um, – we allowed the team to shoot 66% in the first half. That's that's horrendous defense. I don't care if we're playing the Lakers. That's that's terrible. And uh, you know we were fortunate to still be up 11. How I don't know, but um, you know we were able to score the basketball ourselves. But we we don't concern ourselves with the offensive end of the floor. We was concerning ourselves with the defensive end. And we just had too many mental breakdowns in the first half, leaving open shooters and jumping out the way when we're supposed to take a charge. And you know we we just can't do that to to be a championship basketball team and second half we corrected all those errors and um, they shot five for 30 which is 16.7 percent in the second half and that's that's incredible so I was proud of them I was even more proud with the bench uh, Pooby got two early fouls and you know I, I, I said to myself I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the bench a chance because I have to do a better job of trusting and they came in Juwan gave a solid minutes and then I shifted Reggie to the point and he gave a solid minute so I didn't need to insert Poob in the second half again but you know the, the best thing about it is I don't know if you guys looked at our bench but they were cheering for one another every single time and, and that's critical that's what it's about you know they, they're becoming a team and um, they're, they're becoming and beginning to love one another and really care about each other and it uh, showcases itself on the defensive end of the floor. Coach, uh, in terms of your bench, um, you, know, you had a lot of guys 
on the bench last year, but you couldn't go as deep. Right. That seems to be be a strength for you this time around. Yeah, I, I, it's just me. I got to do a better job of trusting. Um, you know, you you, you you know what Pooby and Jeremy is capable of, and sometimes you, you just know that as a former player, all you need is that one bucket or that one assist, and it just fuels you for three or four minutes. And that's not the appropriate way to think all the time as a coach. You know, sometimes you just got to sit those guys down and, and give the other guys a chance because they busted their butts in practice just like the other guys, and they, they, they formulated the trust. So it's, it's on me knowing the trust and the rotation. And, you know, it was difficult to establish because we were injured during the year. You know, so we started the year off and we were just missing the match and, you know, and now when I got a bench, I ain't know what to do with it. So, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, be careful what you wish for because you, you just may get it. But, you know, the guys just doing a good job of being patient and when they number caught, they just coming in and, and producing. We talked last time about you know, teams, the guys not having that light switch. You just can't right. turn it on and off. But, I mean, considering how they perform in the first half defensively, you know, is there such a thing as, you know, they wouldn't have time and, and turn something on? Well, we were, doing, we were doing the right things, but we just had breakdowns. And, you know, I, it, it's, it's, it's two things. It's playing hard, but it got to be coupled with playing right. You know what I'm saying? And we were playing hard, but we just were, I mean, we left shooters. Now they knocked it down. We helped up too high and, and gave them two layups down here. Uh, in the shot clock, we thought the horn was going to go off, end up giving another layup. So those are things that can be corrected. Um, when I was talking about the light switch situation, I was more so talking about the energy and effort. But we bought the energy and effort. Um, our practice yesterday, I thought they hated me. You know, which I, I tell them all the time, I don't care about your feelings. My job is to get the most out of you. But, you know, I jumped on Pooby, and they'll probably tell you, I jumped on Pooby and Jeremy like there was no tomorrow. You know, because I just thought they were playing just to play instead of playing to be great. You know, I, there has to be some chip on your shoulder that someone in this audience is seeing you for the first time and say, hey, this young man is playing for something worthy. He's playing for something more than just a basketball game. And that's what I wanted them to understand. Coach, you guys, uh, revenge game, I guess. Your, yeah. uh, the only conference loss is the team right. you beat. And from the score, it looks like you guys knew that. Was it a case right. where you were trying to bring them down and not make it too much of a revenge game, just do our stuff? Or were you sort of prodding that, hey, remember this, this is the one team that beat us? Yeah, I told them remember it. And they couldn't forget it. Last time they, they, they beat us at their place and their locker room wasn't – probably 15 feet away from ours, and we could hear them coming through the walls in their celebration. And I was like, let this be a learning lesson, let it be a defining moment, because that energy and that passion they have, every team is going to have that for you. I said, we don't celebrate like that when we win a basketball game, but they're going to celebrate now the tables have turned, you evolved as a program, and remember that. I mean, you know, they were saying they were going to party and everything that night, so I was like, you know, that's what they said. So, you know, it got to be personal. Hats off to FAMU. They did their job the first game. But, you know, of course it's kind of personal when when you they leave a bit of taste in your mouth. Coach, uh, two-game road trip coming up now, mm -hmm. starting with uh, South Carolina State and Orangeburg. Uh, how are you feeling going into that game? I got to go watch some tape. I know they've been playing well. It's a tough place to play. Um, it's a little gym that gets really hostile and really loud, and I'm sure they'll have it turned up. On, on, on 100, you know, when we're there, they'll be yelling behind the bench. And, you know, they have outstanding fans, and they're going to really support those guys, and they're really good. So, you know, we got to go in with a game plan and execute our game plan. I haven't seen a lot of tape. I'll go back and I'll do that tomorrow at the grade in this film, and uh, we'll just try to execute our game plan when we get there. We just had a point to prove today, you know. These guys beat us the first time. We just wanted to establish ourselves and prove a point. Oh yeah, man. You know, all the guys remember that. You know, we wanted, like I said, we wanted to prove a point. They wanted to celebrate. You know, they really got under our skin because you know, celebrating after win. You know, you used to expect to win every night and to celebrate like it's a Super Bowl or something. We just wanted to come out and establish a point, and like I said, make a make a different statement. But at this point, I mean, you guys, for a lot of teams, it is that Super Bowl. You've been at the program long enough when that, that wasn't the case. When beating Central wasn't a big deal. Now it is. You've been a part of that whole evolution. 
Yeah, um, well, actually at the beginning, you know, I always felt like people gave us their, their hardest effort. When we were trying to establish ourselves, they felt like we didn't belong, so they wanted to prove a point. Now it's the, it's the opposite thing, but kind of, kind of the same as far as Super Bowl and thinking we didn't belong. So, you know, we just always prepared ourselves as it, as if it was a Super Bowl. Um, we just want to keep doing the same things we've been doing, locking up on defense on the defensive end. You know, that's what we pride ourselves on continuously, and we just want to keep doing that, and hopefully, we maintain the same thing. Yeah, um, you know, um, to be be a great team, you know, you have to make sacrifices, and you know, other people getting involved, that's going to help us win championships. Me just scoring the ball isn't going to win us a championship because if I'm off, who's going to pick us up? So guys got to step up. You know, we just want to win. I care less about points. Well, you mentioned about winning and not expecting a win, but seeing this team start to win big and see this start start to become a trend. But how do you feel out there now when you see the scoreline starting to swell up? You know, sometimes at the beginning you felt like this might be something special, but now this is another big game that you've won by double the figures. Um, like I said, uh, you know, like every night people come out and give us their hardest competition. So we just want to come out and give our best performance on both ends of the floor, you know, really defense, and then we come out with big wins. Well, South Carolina State coming up this weekend. How do you feel going into that game? Um, I f we feel pretty good. You know, we got a big win tonight. We just got to go down there with the same mentality as we do in our own house and come out with fire. Uh, it was just all personal because we remember when we lost against them in Florida, they were like, our locker room was r right beside us. So they was yelling and screaming like they had won the championship, and that stuck with us in our head. And we was never going we, to – we don't want that feeling again. So it was all personal when we stepped on the court. We had to send a state statement to them who was the better team. Now from the court for questions. Big man, it's going to be very, very important as you guys go deeper and you guys go into the tournament. The size is going to be very important as you guys play. And how is it going to be moving? Even now, how are you guys going to play to match that deeper? Oh, we just got to use our speed better because the most big men, like a lot of big men, they can they can run, they can like jump and stuff, but they don't have the footwork. And we all practice footwork every day, so we ready for any type of matchup because we just got to use our quickness, get around, be in a position early, and we're going to be straight. A historic home winning streak continued today. What's it like playing in this gym in front of these home games? Right, it's, it's lovely. All my friends and all our classmates, whoever, like the faculties, everybody out there supporting us, and they just fun. Like, when they out here just yelling, it just gives us that more energy. And then we just trying to give them what they want, and that's a win. The second half, you guys clamped down defensively. What was it like out on the floor during the second half of play when you are able to shut them down? We understand that when we play good defense, it's way more fun to play. When we let people score on us, it's not fun to be out there. So we just understood that yeah, we play defense, we're going to have fun out here. And that's what we want to do, just have fun. Start a road trip this weekend, heading down to Orangeburg to meet South Carolina State. How do you feel going into that game? Uh, we ready for it. It's going to be a tough road trip. South Carolina State, they got some big men that can play. Uh, Savannah State is always a good team. They're well coached. So we just got to uh, prepare ourselves, go, go to the drawing board, and be ready for the weekend.